John Hammond and his bioengineering company InGen have created a theme park called Jurassic Park on Isla Nublar, a Costa Rican island populated with cloned dinosaurs. After one of the dinosaur handlers is killed by a velociraptor, the park's investors represented by lawyer Donald Gennaro demand that experts visit the park and certify it as safe. Gennaro invites mathematician and chaos theorist Ian Malcolm, while Hammond invites paleontologist Dr. Alan Grant and paleobotanist Dr. Ellie Sattler. Upon arrival, the group is stunned to see a live Brachiosaurus. At the park's visitor center, the group learns that the cloning was accomplished by extracting dinosaur DNA from mosquitoes that has been preserved in amber. DNA from frogs was used to fill in gaps in the dinosaur genomes. To prevent breeding, all the dinosaurs were made female. Malcolm scoffs at the idea of such controlled breeding, declaring it will inevitably break down. The crew witness the birth of a baby raptor and visit the raptor enclosure. During a luncheon, the group debates the ethics of cloning and the creation of the park, with Dr. Malcolm giving a harsh warning about the implications of genetic engineering as a whole. The group is then joined by Hammond's grandchildren, Lex and Tim Murphy, for a tour of the park, while Hammond oversees the trip from the park's control room. The tour does not go as planned, with most of the dinosaurs failing to appear and the group encountering a sick triceratops. The tour is cut short as a tropical storm approaches Isla Nublar. Most of the park employees evacuate on a boat to the mainland while the visitors return to their electric tour vehicles except Sattler who stays with the park's veterinarian to study the Triceratops. Jurassic Park's lead computer programmer, Dennis Nedry, has been bribed by Dodgson, a man working for Hammond's corporate rival, to steal valuable fertilized embryos. Nedry deactivates the park's security system to gain access to the embryo storage room where he stores the embryos inside a canister disguised as Barbasol shaving cream, supplied by Dodgson. Because of Nedry, the power goes out and the tour vehicles become stuck. Most of the park's electric fences are deactivated as well, allowing the Tyrannosaurus to escape and attack the tour group. Grant, Lex, and Tim escape, while the Tyrannosaurus injures Malcolm and devours Gennaro. On his way to deliver the embryos to the island's docks, Nedry becomes lost in the rain, crashes his Jeep Wrangler, and is killed by a Dilophosaurus. Sattler assists the park's game warden, Robert Muldoon, in a search for survivors, but they only find an injured Malcolm before the Tyrannosaurus returns. Grant, Tim, and Lex take shelter in a treetop. Later, they discover the broken shells of dinosaur eggs. Grant concludes that the dinosaurs have been breeding, which occurred because of their frog DNA. West African bullfrogs can change their sex in a single sex environment, allowing the dinosaurs to do so as well, proving Malcolm right. Unable to decipher Nedry's code to reactivate the security system, Hammond and the park's chief engineer Ray Arnold opt to reboot the entire park system. The group shuts down the park's grid and retreats to an emergency bunker, while Arnold heads to a maintenance shed to complete the rebooting process. When Arnold fails to return, Sattler and Muldoon head to the shed. They discover the shutdown has deactivated the remaining fences and released the raptors. Muldoon distracts the raptors, while Sattler goes to turn the power back on, before being attacked by a raptor and discovering Arnold's severed arm. Meanwhile, Muldoon is caught off guard and killed by the other two raptors. Grant, Tim, and Lex finally reach the visitor center. Grant heads out to look for Sattler, leaving Tim and Lex inside. Tim and Lex are pursued by the raptors in an industrial kitchen, but they escape and join Grant and Sattler. Lex restores full power from the control room, allowing the group to call Hammond, who in turn calls for help. The group is cornered by the raptors, but they are able to escape when the Tyrannosaurus suddenly appears and kills the raptors. Hammond arrives in a jeep with Malcolm, and the entire group boards a helicopter to leave the island, 